going around the globe for the gospel of Jesus Christ. Welcome to God's View. Hello and welcome to God's View. We're so glad you joined us. Oh man, are we glad you joined us. Uh, we have for you another ministry show, part two. And um, uh, Lord is just, you know, really, really blessing people. And, and, and he's really talking about uh, his voice and, and really believing and speaking his voice this year and hooking up with heaven. And so hopefully you're getting something out of these um, shows for uh, live Facebook today. And then these all go out to many, many networks. Anyways, you know what? Thank you for joining us. Please call the prayer lines, 307-637-PRAY, that's 7729. Um, don't go through things alone. Come on, let us agree with you, and let's get your breakthrough doing, okay? Because yeah, you have to have faith, you have to have belief, mm -hmm. and you have to receive, and you have to expect. And You do those, I'm telling you. The, 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 God is an unlimited God. He's limitless. I'm Charlene back to Mary and your God's View host. Thank you again. If you were just flicking through the channel, we are so glad you joined us. Stay right there. God has something for you that was no accident that you tuned in. This is Stephanie Besh, Priscilla Pruitt, Lana Gardner. Thank you for joining us. Okay, girls. So somebody just want to go so I can Sure. Post. You know, I, I, I just want to address <laughs> prayer warriors out You're there. So funny. <laughs> that, that, don't grow weary in well doing. Yeah, you have been praying and praying that they, that that the Lord would cleanse the iniquity of this land. You you have been praying endlessly that that the the gates of hell over this nation will be defeated. I just want to encourage you that that God is on the side oh glory will be raised again mm. and that he's even started he started in a lot of ways yeah. it will be a domino effect and you will see the works of your hands and your mouth and your heart just come to pass he god is exposing the darkness and these politicians who are <clears throat> doing so much evil are being a, are, are being turned over to reprobate minds. You can see it because of what they say doesn't make any sense. You say, well, what did they just say? But I guarantee you, restoration mm -hmm. is coming to this mm -hmm. great land. Mm -hmm. yeah. Amen. Yeah, and I saw a wife that just felt like she couldn't get breakthrough in her life, and then I heard the word forgiveness. Mm -hmm. And the Lord wants you to forgive your husband. He is, he, he has made it right and he loves you and he wants your marriage to work and if you carry that it'll turn into a root of bitterness yeah, yeah. and in matthew six fourteen, it says for if you forgive other people when they sin against you your heavenly father will also forgive you mm -hmm. so when you forgive then you then you are forgiven otherwise that is blocked and that's why you haven't seen breakthrough and then ephesians four thirty two says be kind and compassionate to one another, forgiving each other, just as in Christ, God forgave you. And yeah. he wants you to look at it in a different way. He wants you to look at your husband in a different way. Remember when you fell in love? Go back to that first love and, and let it grow again. Let it be new wineskins, let it be new. Let your heart open again, but it starts with forgiveness. And when <coughs> you forgive, you will see how God will make your marriage better than than what it ever was mm -hmm. because he is the God that heals the broken in heart. He binds up all wounds and sorrows and what <clears throat> what you need to understand that is if you were on the flip side, you would see that things hurt your husband as well as what the Lord is telling me and that mm -hmm. that he had to choose to forgive you as as well along the way. And because of that, there's breakthrough. So God wants to heal your marriage. So Heavenly Father, I thank yes. you that this couple or any couple out there that is going through a hard time where forgiveness yes, has Lord. been a stronghold to them, I thank you, you are also the God of breakthrough. Yes, God. Mm -hmm. So I thank you that they're able to give their hearts to you. They're able to look at you first mm -hmm. and then one another and let their love grow again. And I thank you, Lord, that, I, that you are showing me as they are kind, compassionate, and they forgive one another that not only will they have life and life more abundantly, mm -hmm. but your intimacy will be restored. Mm -hmm. And I know a lot of people think you shouldn't talk about that, but you should 
God made intimacy bef between That's a husband right. and yes. a wife, and that mm -hmm. is part of the forgiveness. Mm -hmm. So it's okay to be open and receive that. Mm -hmm. Jesus' yeah. name. Yeah. I heard that yeah. there was someone out there that was practicing uh, with the occult, maybe mm -hmm. it was witchcraft, um, maybe it was burning sage, but it was just God mm -hmm. was saying that there's occultic activity out there that we need to break off. And you know, I just want to, I just want to speak life over you and let you know that if you've practiced witchcraft or if you've consulted with a medium or someone who practices witchcraft, all you have to do is just pray and ask God to forgive you and to have mercy on you. And you know, He will reveal not just His love and His grace and His mercy, but his forgiveness and show you how, how great and how deep and how wide is his love for you, that mm -hmm. there's nothing that can separate you from God. And the yeah. lie that the enemy mm -hmm. uses is now that you've opened that it's door true. or that you've done this, that you're not worthy of his love. And those are all mm. lies. Mm -hmm. yeah. He is called the accuser of the brethren for a for reason. A reason. Mm -hmm. You just yeah. have to ask him forgiveness. And I want to pray this prayer over you just to break the curse of witchcraft. I found this really good yeah. prayer. Yeah. And we just ask, Father, in the name of Jesus, that yes. this person, ah, we repent with yeah. them. We yeah. repent if we've allowed anything for any yeah. wrongdoing that we've done for mm -hmm. opening the door to any kind of witchcraft. We ask that you forgive them. We cl cleanse them yes. from every yes. sin of witchcraft. We yes. renounce any ties yes. to the occult and to any such wicked practices. And we ask yes. that you would set them free right now in the name of Jesus. We yes. decree, we declare, and we proclaim mm -hmm. that from this day forward, that Jesus, you are Lord and Savior over their life, yeah. and that you and you alone will be allowed in their heart, in their home, <laughs> in their life. In, their na in the name of Jesus, we pray. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yes. Yeah. You know what? I just want to piggyback on what you all are talking about. And Come on. To, to say, yeah. wife, mm. that a house divided mm. cannot stand. Mm. And in this 2022, 222 means in the Bible, unity, harmony. Mm. And God wants that in your home. And you can't have harmony if you're bickering all right. the time. Yep. God wants you stripes, to see the very right. best in one another, to be mm -hmm. all for one and one That's for good. all. Honor your husband. And God says, admire, adore, respect. Mm. You know, you've, and, and don't let the sun go yeah. down on your wrath. Yeah. Amen. And your children will see that you respect and appreciate yes. this man mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and and that you support him and they will grow up to have wonderful marriages amen yeah mm -hmm. yes yeah. and i've heard that galatians three thirteen, which is probably one of the most powerful verses i think in the whole word of god mm -hmm. and it's christ redeemed us from the curse of the law yeah. for it is written cursed is any man that's hung on a tree and so i don't know if it's someone that's believing god knows he said that for a reason he wants me to speak it for a reason mm -hmm. but maybe you're believing that you're cursed mm -hmm. that everything in your life is cursed that yeah. nothing goes yeah. right yeah. A lot oh, of people god is saying yes, that you, you have been redeemed if you mm -hmm. believe in jesus you've been redeemed from the that's curse right. of the law yeah. there is no Amen. curse that can sick and Amen. i love that Amen. charlene always says a curse undeserved cannot that's stick, stick. <laughs> and so mm -hmm. therefore if you believe in mm -hmm. jesus and if he is lord over your heart it cannot stick to you. Yeah. So you have been redeemed because Jesus took on every That's curse good. when he died on the cross yeah. for you. So stop believing it. Renounce that you've yeah. believed Amen. it. God's Rebuke, got you. Uh, say, God, forgive me for believing those yeah. lies, for speaking it. You probably said, I'm cursed. You know, whatever, I'm cursed. Everything goes wrong in my life. Mm -hmm. But when you say that, you're giving the enemy yeah. power yeah. to curse your life, to yeah. do mm -hmm. things to your mm -hmm. life. So rebuke what you've said. Yeah. Ask God to forgive you for agreeing with those lies. Renounce it and ask the Holy Spirit, speak the opposite, to bless me. God, everything I do, everything I put my hands to is blessed, is touched. Amen. I have favor Amen. upon Amen. favor in the name of Jesus. You know, and, and what you're saying, you know, the, the hardest times of our lives, God comes through the greatest. Exactly. Yes. And those exactly. are the things that he uses. All those tests brings us, it shows him what, who we are and how yeah. strong we are and what we can do for him. Can we stand the heat? Will we take it? You know, everything that you give to God, you still possess. Do you understand? Right. What you try to hold on to is a mess and the mm -hmm. curse and all the things. And you know, you are not you are not cursed. Look at look at you know, I love Moses' mother. I mean, my goodness. Mm -hmm. She had to believe give up her child. Yeah. Can you imagine? I couldn't even imagine that. No. But you know, look at they stand there and watch the whole scene taking place. And what does God give? He give she gives him she gets him right back yeah. to nurse him. Yeah. You know, she had to give him up, but 
she got him right back. She That's sure the did. kind of God we serve. Amen. Do you understand me? It's we It's showdown time. Mm -hmm. Like in First Kings, when Elijah came, let's, let's show down. Come on. Let's see whose God's going to answer by fire. And they seen what happened. Mm -hmm. Our yes. God answered by yes. fire. He even licked up all the water. Yes. And there was a great <laughs> famine in the land then. How did they get? They kept going and getting more water and more water. Where were they getting this water with this famine? Because God was providing. And, and, and then he showed who mm -hmm. he was. And he shows himself. It's a showdown time. you got to just be glad and say, it's the best time of my life. Yeah. Look at Joseph. You know, the devil's trying to yes. present circumstantial evidence. Yeah. And look at Potiphar's wife. What did she keep in her hand? She made sure she took that circumstantial mm -hmm. evidence to make it look when she kept his, mm -hmm. you know, his uh, cloak. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. She kept that so she could say, <laughs> look at this, yes. this was really real. He came in and he did this. And so that the devil does that same thing to yes, you. He does. And you cannot believe mm -hmm. the circumstantial evidence. Mm -hmm. I tell people this Amen. all the time. It keeps people in prison. There's all kinds of people in the prisons. Mm -hmm. Now I just they're heard getting that. Yeah, they're I just getting heard out. Somebody is yeah. hearing this. And they're getting out of prisons yes. because of DNA. <laughs> that. And we have Jesus yes. Christ. They're getting out. But they're getting mm -hmm. out because of DNA evidence yep. is setting them yes. free. Yes. And I will tell you, because Praise they didn't God. have yes. that years ago, but there's many people, because somebody with circumstantial evidence mm -hmm. put them away for life for a crime they did not out. do. And the enemy wants to put you away and shut you up for mm -hmm. life yes. for some, you know, to make you look like, oh, this is so yeah. big. But you got to change your focus, honey. you got to change your focus. And then COVID people. Uh, people with COVID. Listen yes, to me. We just pray. Uh, we, we pray. We, we are, we, I mean, I, th this thing is out of Jeez, control. It is. A Stop lot of it, the, it, you know, they are exaggerating, but this thing is real. It's happening, but it's not greater than the Lord. That's right. And COVID has to bow to the name of Jesus. Yes. Yes. He woke me up one day for my brother-in-law and said, speak this for COVID people, but over your brother-in-law. <laughs> Job 33, 4, the spirit of God made me, the breath of the almighty gives me life. So he yes. said, I'm breathing mm. into the lungs of those with COVID. Yes. So believe it see you yes. got to believe it or you, you're just gonna yes. let them die on it on a yes. you know a life support or whatever they're on and but I'll tell you you can believe and you can stand yes. and you can see them That's whole right. healed well and set yeah. free yeah. God yeah. is the breath of life yes, the Holy yes. Spirit is breathing on their lungs breathing through their lungs and we command their kidneys to yes. come alive we yes. command their blood system to flow and yes. all infections go yes. we command their lungs to work yes. properly we command their heart to be strong Angel. and yes. all their vitals not yes. fail. That, Lord, that yes. you keep them Lord. in these times. And, Lord, we thank you. We command COVID to bow to the yes. name of Jesus. Amen. And we come against yes. that you, spirit Lord. of yeah. Kvev that is the demon spirit behind pestilence and plagues and disease and sickness of the whole earth. Yeah. And we command it to loose yes. and yes. let the people yes. go yes. with yes. COVID and sickness yes. and diseases yes. and plagues Jesus. right now in yes. Jesus' name name and we yes. thank you Lord thank you thank Jesus, you, Jesus. Yes. thank you and I break the 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 power of lack and decrease mm. in your life yeah mm. the robbery is Amen. over in uh -huh. Jesus Amen. name you are a child of God yeah and you are to receive what God wants to give you I I ask you you know I I'm asking you to do your tithes and your offerings because the way God, you know, you could take the 2,000 verses in the Bible and sum them up in one word if you want to prosper. And that word is give. Give. If you give, it will be given to you. Good measure, pressed down, shaken together, running over, will men give unto your bosom. And, and God wants you to have more than enough, not mm -hmm. just enough, yeah. but more than enough. So, so poverty is not the will of God. Mm -mm. Come on, just read those scriptures on finances and God mm -mm. will set you free and give you wisdom in the financial realm. And we're not yeah. prosperity preachers. I just want to piggyback on that. Yes. We're saying that the Lord Thank says you. that when you yeah. are poor, you are rich. Yeah. Because you don't have to yeah. have right. physical. We can talk about health. 
that's being rich. We can talk about yes. being blessed. That's wealth. That's it, real. That's wealth. real yes, wealth. That's because real all wealth. the money in the world can't buy your health. This prosperity gospel has been yes. twisted. Yeah, we're not we're twisting that. We want you to know that. I just want to clarify that because I know that there's a lot of people that that triggers. No, what we're talking about is that. You can even give yeah. of your time. I'm glad you, yeah. you can up give on that. of of anything, of your talents, and God will multiply. It doesn't have to be necessarily money, but yes, she is right. If you God says test me in this, I said, yeah. and He tells you to test me, He will. If yes. you do give, He will give back to you. But it doesn't mean just money. Yeah. We're talking about everything. God just wants you to to give back to Him. Give Him your first fruit. That means trust, yeah. and that's what a tenth, what a tithe really means. It's a test. He wants to see your heart. The test is it's about heart your heart issue. because he says, yep. where your money is, there your heart will be also. It's more about a heart issue. He's more worried about that you don't want to give him a tenth when he's give you all of the money. That's right. He, it's all from him. Mm -hmm. All of it comes from him. That favor, that blessing, that yeah. job, he gave it to you. It's just a test, and that's all it's about. He just wants to know your heart. He wants your heart. Holy yeah. and completely, he wants your glory. heart. That's right. yes, yeah. glory. Yes, glory. Recently, I um, saw a woman that was completely blind receive her sight. And the Lord said, cool. I want to do it again yes. and again and again. Mm -hmm. And in Revelations, it talks about we overcome by the blood of the Lamb and the word of our testimony. And we lay not our um, lives out until the death. We, we love not our lives until, until the death. death. Yeah. And it just means we are totally surrendered. But... When you hear that word testimony, it means he will do it again. He will do it again. He will mm -hmm. do it again. So I am testifying on behalf of what I just witnessed. Mm -hmm. And then I just saw somebody who received a report from the Lord who was just broken. And you feel bowed down. And I, and I saw that. And the Lord says, Psalms 146.8 says, The Lord gives sight to the blind. The mm -hmm. Lord lifts up those who are bowed down. Mm -hmm. The Lord loves the righteous. Mm -hmm. yes. And he yeah. calls you his righteous one. Mm -hmm. He loves you. He paid the price on the cross. He took blindness and the report mm -hmm. that the doctors would give to the cross. He took it all. And then when he was raised up, after he died, he was raised up three days later and his glorified body and, and healed completely because we are healed. Mm -hmm. So right now we just declare that your eyes yes. Yes. are now returned back yes. to, the, to the perfectness that God created yes. you to yes, have them. Lord. You are fearfully and wonderfully made. He created you that yes. way. And I thank you, Lord. I declare Psalms 146, 8, that they're no longer bowed down mm -hmm. and broken and scared and full of fear, but he calls you his righteous one. Mm -hmm. He loves you. And it says the Lord gives sight to the blind, and I say, receive sight Amen. now in Jesus' name. Amen. In Jesus' Praise name. God. Yeah, so, yeah, you're right. God don't want it sporadical. He no. wants everybody to have it. But yeah. it all takes, you know, there there was a powerful belief system going on in faith yes. in that room, yes. and that's why her uh, blind eyes opened. Yes. And you know, people who touched the hem of his garment, mm -hmm. Jesus. I mean, they were all healed. And I'll tell you, wherever he went, everyone mm -hmm. that he prayed for mm -hmm. was healed. Mm -hmm. But they had a part in it. They believed because. How many yeah. times did Jesus say, your faith has made you whole, your faith right. has made you whole, your mm -hmm. faith has made you whole? And he's saying the same thing to you today. He's saying the same thing to you today. And he wants your roar to be one in front of your kids that's a roar of what he's doing and what heaven is doing. And, and let your kids start dreaming and have those kind of mm -hmm. dreams and visions and things like that. Because many of you have imparted the American dream to your children that has really brought death upon them. Because they're seeking all in the natural and not the supernatural. And God wants to turn that around because this generation has got to be one that knows that Jesus is returning and knows the power of God and you know not just have a form of godliness and denying mm -hmm. the power which is the Holy Spirit that is the power that raised Jesus mm -hmm. Christ from the dead we've got to teach him those things not you know because all of us um, when our children are little we want to give them everything give them the dream you know but but a lot of times that balance is all here you want to give them all this but yet we need to make sure they know that the dreams and the visions and the things of God is what's really going to make them through everything. Mm -hmm. Not this American dream if you make a million dollars or $10 million or $5 million. That's not yeah. going to satisfy mm -hmm. ever. Right. Mm -hmm. And it's not going to get them to heaven ever. Mm -hmm. right. Okay, they have to do the things of God. And our roar in our home has got to show them the power of God. Mm -hmm. 
the power Amen. of God, like what you're Amen. doing, what everybody's saying. Mm -hmm. Because really, you could give them all the laptops you want, you can give yeah. them all the toys you want, you can give them all the cars you want, you can give them all of that stuff. Yeah. <laughs> and it's only in the natural something that is moth and rust mm -hmm. that will be consumed. That's right. yeah. And you have to cause their minds to shift from the mentality of earthly uh, treasures mm -hmm. to heaven's rewards Amen. and God is speaking to you today so you you can there it's never too late it's never too late to turn things around in your household never that's right. no that's right Amen. I agree. You, yeah. you know that that, uh, that there are people out there that look like they're eating oats from a horse trough I mean you're depressed and you're mm. sad and I'm not making light of it it I I just want you to uh, to know that something, someone is stealing your joy and a grateful heart receives. And so God wants you to receive the joy of the Lord. You know, depression is a demonic spirit, but joy is a spirit from mm -hmm. God. And so in the name of Jesus, mm -hmm. I mm -hmm. ask God Amen. to restore mm -hmm. that, that, yes. that yes, joy, God, joy back Lord, into that you. Yes. That everything good will come to you and you know, a grateful heart receives. Yes. So start yes. thanking the Lord. Start yes. thanking the Lord for, for all that you have and all mm -hmm. that he's given you. Yes. Because every good thing comes from God. Every yes. good thing in your life comes from yeah. God. And, and I'm hearing you say, I have nothing to thank God for. Are you mm. kidding? How about the food that you eat? The roof yes. over your head, yes. the TV you're viewing on yeah. right now, yeah. the very air that you breathe. The toilet you go on in your house. Start oh, being green water. Jesus. Just push yeah. up the heat. Yes. It's so true. I heard that one can send a thousand a flight, two can send ten thousand. Yeah. Yes. I don't know if God's just saying that he wants you to line up with somebody who is like-minded, mm. find a, a prayer partner, find someone to just, you know, really believe and, and take hold to and believe together for whatever you're, you're praying. Maybe you mm. haven't seen um, that breakthrough and God says, find someone who will stand in faith with you and believe with you. Or maybe it's a couple. There's a, a marriage out there that you, mm. one spouse, one, one person has been praying for something and the other person praying for something else. What have you two got together and mm. prayed together and see what mm -hmm. happens mm -hmm. there? Because there is power in yeah. unity and praying together as one. Yeah, and Lana was talking about depression. And, and you mm. know, depression is a serious thing that's taken yeah. out pastors, that's taken out a yes. lot of people right now. And this is not something that we are minimizing, no. that no. we are just no. making less of. Mm -hmm. um, or, or, or light light of it's a serious thing and boy I've really come to know yeah. that the last yeah. few years as I have seen mm -hmm. good men and women that yes. would have never done it right. take their lives yep. yeah. and so when when she was praying for that you know there's another thing you know because the joy of the Lord is your strength but sometimes you're like yeah here you talk about joy there's no joy yeah. here Aww. and but you know what what if you'll just try like taking captive your thoughts if it's a thousand times a day yeah. think about what you're thinking about because that's what kind of gets you down you start thinking of everything that's terrible yeah. and then you can't you can't think or focus on the things that are good and mm -hmm. you can do also in those times take captive every thought bring it to the obedience amen. of Christ think I mean I tell you you will be healed if you continue yes, to amen. do this yeah. and also put off the spirit of heaviness mm -hmm. that comes with oppression depression gluttony hopelessness Amen. lack of faith uh, just so and all of its other little demons because right. God said put off that spirit yes. that's what the Bible says and then he says put on the garments of praise and what it comes with mm -hmm. is love joy what Lana was talking about love joy peace gentleness kindness meekness self-control patience you know all of that against there's no law, it says. Right. Mm -hmm. such, there's no law. Yeah. So because you've been redeemed of the curse of the Amen. law of sin and death, yeah. you are now under grace. You mm -hmm. are in a new covenant with Jesus Christ that that blood fights for you and protects mm -hmm. you. Four, four, four. Amen. Amen. I saw somebody just as you were talking with the depression, and I just mm -hmm. saw this turmoil, and I heard night tears. And I mm -hmm. heard that every time you go to God lay down and go to sleep, you, ha you fall asleep and you'll have night terrors no. or you have such anxiousness that your mind starts racing and you can't sleep. And he gave me two scriptures to read to you. Proverbs 3.24 says, When you lie down, you will not be afraid. When you lie down, your sleep will be sweet. Yeah. That's a promise. Mm -hmm. Psalms 3.5, I lay down and slept, yet I woke up in safety. 
for the Lord was watching over me. Do you understand that when you, when you lie down and go to sleep, His mm -hmm. promises for you are all yes and amen. And He's telling you, as you lay down to go to sleep, you don't have to be afraid because He has you. He has you in the palm of His hand where nothing can snatch you out. And those things that you worry about, um, think of all the years of worry and it has gotten you nowhere. It just mm -hmm. diminishes your life, the Bible says. Mm -hmm. It takes away from your life. So now you take those two scriptures, Proverbs 3.24, Psalms 3, 5, and you begin to read them and you quote them yeah. every night before you go to bed. And you'll see that those night terrors go, that you will wake up in safety because you do every morning, mm -hmm. even though that anxiousness is there, but now it's going to go because you're declaring the word. So, Heavenly Father, I thank yes, you that right whoever is out there name. having night, night terrors and demonic dreams and um, they, they feel like they can't go to sleep, even if it's from past trauma, we break it off of them now and we say yeah. their mind is restored, renewed, and they will um, sleep in sweetness mm -hmm. and, and safety in Jesus' name. Jesus no fear. Name. No fear. No fear. <laughs> Man, we got, we got one minute to say Amen. something. Um, <clears throat> God is good. We, you know, we had... Um, and Terry heard that says, hi, I received the joy of the mm -hmm. Lord. And we know, you know, um, she's dealt with some stuff. And, you know, God always has people watching with, with um, he orchestrates everything when we need something in our life, Amen. doesn't he? Somebody will tune in right when they need what mm -hmm. they need. Yes. And listen, if you, if you don't know Jesus, oh, it's the best thing you ever do. Really? I mean, yeah. we, we just best. want you to receive him so much so you can live a yeah. godly life here on earth, the Zoe kind of life. But we also don't want you spending an eternity in, in hell. Mm -hmm. Jesus desires that not one perish. That's his heart. And so our job is here. Every time I bring people to the Lord today, come up two, two, two. Mm -hmm. Every single time. Praise <coughs> God, Lord. I just thank you, Lord, for those who are watching that. Lord, let them, let Holy Spirit, no man coming to the Father but the drawing of the Holy Spirit. Let him draw you to the yes. Father's heart today. Let him come in and be the Lord of your life. All you got to do is give him access. Mm -hmm. He will not just come in. You have to ask. Yes. It's a choice. God gave us all a choice. And you can't make that choice once you're dead. That's why we're so adamant about right now wanting you to make that decision. And you can't say, oh, I'm just the most horrible person on this earth. Jesus don't want me he wants oh, you. doesn't yes. matter what's happened to yeah. you or what Amen. you've done to mm -hmm. others. Yeah. Jesus really does. It's hard to forgive mm -hmm. when yes. things have happened to you. I get it, but you know what? Jesus will get you to mm -hmm. the place. Sometimes Amen. it takes years for people and sometimes it just overnight, mm -hmm. you know, but <clears throat> just ask him to come into your heart and help you get through what you're going through, um, to forgive you of your sin, to be the Lord of your life. And if you did that, call our prayer lines, 307-637-PRAY, that's 7729. And, <clears throat> and then get baptized with the Holy Spirit with fire. Man, it's what will, the Holy Spirit is who will lead and guide you into all truth and mm -hmm. uh, move in and through you to do the will of the Father. The Holy Spirit is amazing. He's mm -hmm. the comforter. He's the counselor. Mm -hmm. He's all that. He's the one that raised Christ Jesus from the dead, and you must acknowledge him also. Mm -hmm. And so, anyways, won't you go to our, uh, uh, what is it called? Website. <laughs> <laughs> Website today. Mm -hmm. Help us keep coming into your home and around the world with the gospel of Jesus Christ by um, just donating $20 or more for this wonderful anointing oil. There's other stuff there. We got a lot of more stuff to put on there, but we just haven't, because we're not into just sales. We would rather you become a partner and just do it, because heaven said, for $5, $10, $20, $1,000, $300, whatever you want to give a month to help us keep coming into your home and around the world with the gospel of Jesus Christ. We really need you today. So if we've been a blessing, won't you bless us? Be a partner each month. We love you. It's goodbye for today. Remember, God does have a view. God does have a view personally for you. <laughs> Going around the globe.